The real portal to imagination and social engagement lies not in pixels on a screen, but around an ordinary kitchen table. Dice clattering and imagination soaring. Yep, you guessed it. We're talking about Dungeons & Dragons, the granddaddy of role-playing games. It's been making a surprising comeback lately in this age of instant gratification. And guess what? It's exactly what your child, and maybe you, needs. Gone are the days of solitary thumb gliding across touchscreens. D&D thrives on collaboration, communication, and yes, even <gasps> math. In the realm of orcs and elves, your child isn't just passively consuming content, they're actively shaping it. Learning to think critically, negotiating strategies, working as a team, and communicating effectively, as well as celebrating each other's triumphs. Think of it as Jumanji meets improv class. Maybe your buddy and bard might learn the persuasive power of words, while your shy sorcerer discovers the confidence to command a room. Studies even show increased empathy and public speaking skills in children who play D&D, and D&D has even been used as therapy for children who are on the autism spectrum. Skills like these translate far beyond the fantastical realm. Imagine your child once hesitant to raise their hand in class, suddenly feeling more confident and, and able to speak up. Maybe they're able to engage with the teacher or with their classmates more than they would have in the past. And hey, don't relegate this to the realm of after-school activities. d and nights can be a family affair, fostering laughter and shared memories and genuine human contact in a world increasingly obsessed with individual and electronic pursuits. Picture the shared thrill of vanquishing a fearsome dragon, or the collaborative storytelling around a flickering candle, the bonds forged over a shared pizza and dice rolls. It's the kind of quality time that money truly can't buy, though maybe a cool set of dice never hurts. So ditch the screen fatigue and embrace the power of make-believe. Let your child slay dragons, sure, but more importantly, let them discover the power of their own voice, the thrill of adventure, and the joy of forging real-life friendships that even the mightiest fireball can't snuff out. After all, the greatest treasure they might find could be the connections that they make along the way. Worried about the learning curve? Fear not. Resources abound from beginner-friendly starter sets to online communities brimming with helpful game masters, or DMs as we call them in D&D, as well as experienced players. So what are you waiting for? Roll the dice, unleash the imagination, and discover the adventure that awaits. You just might be surprised at what your child and you are capable of. How to get started with D&D. From zero to hero. Okay, you're convinced. The lure of dragon slaying and collaborative storytelling has woven its spell on you. But where do you, the screen-weary parent, even begin? Fear not, intrepid adventure, the path to your kitchen table campaign is paved with surprisingly accessible resources. First things first, gather your troops. Kids, siblings, cousin, anyone with a pulse and a hint of imagination is welcome. But remember, D&D thrives on diversity, so embrace the eclectic crew you assemble. Pro tip, stock up on snacks. Trust us, the brain power required to slay a dragon demands sustenance. Plus, it creates a cozy and inviting atmosphere. Step two, Unleash your inner hero, without breaking the bank. Before investing in physical materials, why not dip your toes into the world of D&D for free? That's right, Wizards of the Coast offers a complete basic rules for D&D 5th edition available online, and it's a treasure trove of everything you need to set sail for your first fantasy adventure. If you want to invest in some beginner tools, we would recommend a set of dice for each player, some extra D20s for the DM, and maybe some extra D6s. Step three, find your Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master, or DM, is your guide, storyteller, and occasional monster impersonator. Don't worry, you don't need a Gandalf beard or years of experience. If you're feeling brave, take turns being DM within your group. Alternatively, you can seek out game stores or online communities to find experienced DMs seeking new parties. Remember, a good DM is patient, encouraging, and most importantly, loves telling the story. Step four, let the adventure begin and the dice roll. With your party prepped, basic rules to hand, and dice ready to go, it's time to embark on your grand adventure. Remember, the focus is on fun, working together, and shared storytelling. Don't get bogged down in the rules, though a basic understanding is helpful. And remember to embrace the unexpected. 
celebrate creativity, and let your imaginations run wild. After all, who knows what waits behind the next tavern door. Try to remember that this is about having fun. If you aren't having fun, then something needs to change. Talk to each other. Remember, working together as a team, collaborating and communicating effectively are hallmarks of Dungeons & Dragons. So you as a group, as a friend group, or even if you just met, need to be able to talk together to understand what different things you need to do. Also, we highly recommend that you run what's called a Session Zero. That will be covered in another video, but a Session Zero gives you, the players, and the Dungeon Master a chance to understand and set ground rules for the campaign. I hope this guide has been helpful and we've been able to answer some questions for you that you haven't been able to find anywhere else. Try to remember the key to unlocking your child's and maybe even your own inner hero lies not in a virtual world, but around your kitchen table. Dice in hand, stories waiting to be told, imaginations prepped to soar. So why wait? Gather your party, choose your adventure, and prepare to be amazed by the power of your own imagination. Who knows, you might just discover that the greatest magic lies not in the spells and dragons, but in the connections and stories you forge along the way. Now, roll an issue of adventure, the world of D&D awaits.